Hello everybody. It is my pleasure to welcome you to my channel, Lexer Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yaku. I'm reaching you live from Lagos State, Nigeria. Uh, I'm an importer and also I'm a graphic designer and a content creator. And in this video, I'm going to show you every step I take to place an order from China and get the goods safely delivery in Nigeria. So don't be surprised that it is very much possible and 100% possible that you can place an order, you can buy anything from China without using any agent. So if you want to know how, follow me in this video and I, sh I will show you every step I take on how I place the order and uh, how I make the payment and how I eventually got my goods delivered to me here in Nigeria. But if you still want to know more about this training, uh, you can as well contact me on the uh, on the phone number on the screen. So you can send me a message on WhatsApp or you call me uh, to make any further inquiry about how you can import from China without using any agent. So let's get started. So you need to watch uh, before I start the uh, practical video. You need to watch my video on how to place order from China without using agent part one and part two. Please check the video on the playlist of my importation uh, practical video. So now when you watch the part one of how to place an order, part one and two, you will be able to understand this current one. I'm going to show you how I got my goods delivered safely in Nigeria. So now let's get started. The first thing I did in this, uh, in this journey is that I opened my 1688 app just like what you see on the screen here. All right, so this is how so I open the hubs, then I talk to the supplier. So because before you make a purchase, you need to chat to the supplier, negotiate the price with them, and tell them the quantity of the product you want to buy. So let me show you how the transfer, how the communication went between me and the supplier from China. So I'm going to click on this uh, here. Now, going to, here is the supplier. So, Kosi Susi. So, I'm going to click on it. All right. So, for your information, some people believe that Chinese do speak English. So, but you can see here that I communicate with this supplier in English language. Now, <clears throat> let me show you how everything went from the beginning so that you see that it is very much possible to. To place any to to purchase anything from Chinese with, from China without using uh, agent. So so we talk a lot. So let me show you from the beginning so that you can see how things went on. Okay. Okay. Aha. So this is where the communication started. So straight down. So you can see we talk in English language. Uh, he respond. Now I want you to take note of one thing here. So here uh, I sent the uh, the supplier some of the picture of the product. So this is the product I bought from this supplier. You can see this lady shoe here. So I screenshot the product and I send it to them. Now. So we continue with our communication and uh, when it gets to a point, let me show you. Okay, you can, at this point here, this is where, where this is where, when I asked him, I asked the supplier about the kg of the product. I told them that I want to buy 10 pieces of this product. So can you help me calculate the kg? So you now say the kg is going to be 0 0.35 kg multiplied by 10 it's going to be 3.5 kg i say okay uh, i ask again what if i'm buying 12 so 12 times the same uh, kg is going to give us 4.2 i say okay i'm buying 12 now he say good thank you how did you find us from many sellers so he's trying to make some surface here now he said i'm charging you i'm charging your second order 16 rmb so now there is uh some um, uh, there are some some issue here 
Now, let me open this screenshot. This screenshot at the checkpoint, at the checkout, when I want to make payments, the screenshot, uh, the payment shows that I'm to pay 283 yuan for this, uh, for the 12th of this shoe. Now, I screenshot and send it to them. Why I did this is that the money I'm supposed to pay is not supposed to be up to that uh, 283 uh, yuan. He said, no, I sent it to them. He said, no. I said, how come I'm paying 283 RMB for everything? Say, please check your first order. I amend it for you. Both order are correct now. Both order are correct now. What they are trying to do here is that they are going, they are trying to give me a discount because they saw that I'm, I'm ready to make a payment. You see, I'm to pay this uh, particular amount of money through 283.40 yuan. But when I try to get annoyed with them, you say no. So they now later amend the price for me and give me a discount. So at the end of the day, he told me to pay 215.87 yuan. I say okay, I'm just I'm order just for 12. Let me let me redo it. So I say don't redo it, just see your orders amount. So I say okay, now I make a payment. I say the weight the with fright of 16 yuan. This 16 yuan means that the amount I'm going to spend from the supplier warehouse to uh, my shipping company warehouse. I say no problem. Now, after I made payment. I screenshot the payments to them. Let me show you. Now you can see payment successful. I screenshot to them. They say you are great. So please don't forget to write now. After concluding the deal, I have made the payment and told the supplier that I made the payment. So you still have to drop a message for them so that your parcel will not get lost. So I now say, please don't forget to write my name and phone number on the parcel. Please, this is very much important. Is it? I understand. Now we continue chatting. Now, one other thing I want to I want to show you guys here is that after I made a payment, now I say good morning, hello, good morning. So the next day, you now show me this. You can see my product has been packaged, my name and phone number has been written on it. So which means this goose is ready for shipment. Now they send the goods i say you are the best when are you going to send my parcel say thank you within five hours they will came to pick up i say okay how many kg he said this is blah 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 i say okay then we continue with our chat so many things we discuss after we have finalized the deal now at this point he said i have when are when are you going to send my parcel he said your parcel was posted yesterday now he sent me screenshot so this shows that my parcel is on transit. Now we continue chatting, we continue chatting, continue chatting. Now, then at this point here, I screenshot something to him, uh, to them. Then later he said the logistic company that will carry the goods. Sorry for the interrupted. Say the logistic company that will carry the goods at this name of the company. So I say, as I'm confused. He say the express has arrived at your address now. So you can see the background of the order. So later, he say, sorry for the trouble. Yes, I can see logistic information in the background. Sorry for the trouble. So I'm trying to tell them that I'm yet to receive the goods. So now my logistic later, I now say my logistic company has confirmed the respect of the package now. Now. After my logistic company confirmed the recipient of the package, so they issued me a receipt here in Nigeria. So this is the receipt they gave me. So you can see it here. Let me screenshot. Let me let me zoom it. So you can see my name. You can see my phone number. So now, which this simply means that the goods has been received by this company in China. So now, we continue. In few days, my package will arrive in Nigeria, and I will start sales. Say, you are the best, and I will surely come back for more business. I'm trying to tell them, say, thank you. I wish you a prosperous business. So that is the end between me and the supplier, and uh, uh, between me and the supplier, uh, between me and the Chinese supplier. Now, over to my logistic company that would bring the goods down to me in Nigeria. So now, you need to have your logistic company contact information you need to chat with them on whatsapp 
to do the follow-up of the order. So how do I do that? So let me take you to my WhatsApp and show you every step I take. All right, so due to the fact that I have a lot of information here on my WhatsApp, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to make use of my search bar here. So I'm going to type the name of uh, my logistic company. I, so I'm using Google, right? So they watch me now. I contact this one here. So when I contact them, uh, this is the chat between me and the and the shipping company. So they gave me information about what they can ship, their terms of service, the price, and every other necessary thing you need to know about the logistics company. These are very much important also. You don't just go to 1688 and place order without knowing the information about your logistics company. So these are the information given to me by my logistics company in short. So after I have done with uh, everything about uh, between me and the supplier, I've done every necessary thing. Now I my sub, uh, to my logistics company that see, please, can you please confirm the recipient of this package for me? So later, this is what my supplier sent to me. You need to still communicate with your logistics company right i say hello so your supplier will send you a landing uh, bill of landing so the bill of landing is what you will send to your logistic company so you can see it here my logistic number is lp and uh, 00433 and so on why my awb number is uh 7315 and so on so this two bill of landing you have to send it to your logistic company so once you send it to your logistic company, they will issue you a, a receipt that your goods has, has been received and it has been in the safe hand. So you can see it here. So this is the receipt issued from issued to me by my logistics company that import this uh, items for me. You can see the name of item is shoes. Then the, the weight is two point eight. Now the price and the clearing fee and all that. So they have analyzed everything for me. I say thank you so much. All right. Now, at this point here, you need to track your goods from your logistic company. So how do you do that? So my logistic company has a apps, Sky Cargo apps. So this is the app. So this is where I track my goods from China down to Nigeria. So they will be sending, they will be they'll send me message on every movement of the goods. So you can see. Okay, I need to update here. So let me just update. Allow. All right, so you have to have, you need to have the, your logistic company, uh, your logistic company have so that you will be it will be make it easy for it will make it easy for you to track your goods from China to wherever you are shipping the uh, the goods to. Now, what I'm going to show you here is that you need to click on message, so you can see I have a message. So now you look to look for logistic track. So you can see the tracking of this goods. This is the tracking of this goods. Now, my logistic company received the goods on the 23rd of March, 2021. The, ship, the shipment has arrived at Guazon. Then on the 25th March, 2021, the shipment depart from Guazon, which is in China. Then on the 25th March, 2021, the, ship, the shipment has arrived Addis Ababa airport. Then tracking update here also. The shipment departed from Addis Ababa International Airport. Then on the 27th of March 2021, the shipment has arrived Lagos International Airport. Now, at this last point, last update here, logistic track update, the shipment has arrived at International Airport and the agent is working for clearance. So after that so let me go back to then the next one here is other message so the other message say the first update here is that the express has been 
collected from China in 20 in 22 March 2021 then on the 30th March 2021, there are a few. Your package has arrived at the pickup point. Please pick it up as soon as possible. Will be number. Arriving time March 30th of March 2021. The weight is 2.8 kg, which simply means that at this point, this goose has been successfully arrived to my country here in Nigeria. Now, I know you will like to see you you will wonder how this is so very easy and simple to do now if you still want to know more about this business you really you and you are ready to be an importer i will advise you to contact my number on this on this phone screen let us talk the business now the next thing i'm going to show you in this video i'm going to open up the package and you guys and i will see the contents of the package whether it was the shoe or it's not the shoe. So check it out. All right, guys. So, like I promised you guys to show you what we have in this package right here. So you can see the name, my name on the parcel. Then you can see my phone number on the parcel. Now, so I'm going to hold. I'm going to open this, this package right here. So we see the number of shoe we have in there. So open it. Right, continue. So you can you can get a pen if possible. Okay. So okay. Okay. Okay, now yeah, bring out the shoe. Let's see. Let's see what we have inside here. All right, give it out. Okay, so open it. Let's see what we have inside. Open it. Wow, yeah, bring out the shoes. Bring them out. You can see it here. You can see the shoe. You can see, you can see them. I see them. I see them. I see them. So you can see them. So you can see them. So let me uh let me open one of the shoe here. I see them. I see them. So like I told you guys, I order for this particular shoe uh from China without using any agent. So I order for twelve shoe. So let me count it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then I'm going to open one. Open this one for me and let's see. So let us confirm the quality of the products. Wow. So you can see this is the navy blue. So this is the navy blue of the shoe. So you can see, uh, this is the navy blue. And uh, everything remains the same, just like how we have it on internet. So just like how we have it on, the, on 1688. So you can see, so this is high quality leather shoe. So you can see everything remains the same. Everything remains intact. Very high quality shoe. So you can see so this is how you import without using any agents from china down to nigeria or from china to ghana from china to any part of the world so this is how you do it step by step on how you can do it is what i'm trying to show you guys on this video if you like to learn everything about importation from china from us from Turkey, from malaysia from uh, dubai 
The number of the on the screen of this video, contact me via this number, send me a message on WhatsApp, or you call me direct. I'm going to respond to whatsoever you need to know about importation. Thank you guys for watching this video from the beginning to the end. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more importation, for more in for more tutorial about mini importation. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to hear from you guys soon. Bye.